Hello everyone! It's time to tackle advanced math problems here in Unang Math. I'm Teacher Michelle and for today's episode, we will be talking about fractions. There are three basic concepts about fractions that we need to recall and understand. First, we need to recall and understand the different kinds of fractions. We have proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fraction. We need to recall and understand the difference of these fractions so we will be able to apply them to problem solving. Second, we need to recall and understand how to convert an improper fraction to mixed fraction and a mixed fraction to an improper fraction. And number three, we need to recall and understand how to find the equivalent fractions of a given fraction. So before solving the different problems I've prepared for you, let us first look at these concepts. Let us recall and understand the three basic concepts about fractions. Simulan natin sa different kinds of fractions. Okay, we have proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fraction. Kapag sinabing proper fraction, numerator is smaller than the denominator. Okay, example, 1 half, 2 over 3. 4 over 5. So, ang numerator is smaller than the denominator. So, that's proper fraction. Okay, we also have improper fraction. This time, ang numerator is equal to or greater than the denominator. Okay, example, 4 over 3. 3 over 2. 5 over 4. So, ang numerator ay mas mataas kesa denominator. Or, it's also an improper fraction kung ang numerator is equal to the denominator, like 8 over 8. Okay, we also have mixed fraction. Kapag sinabing mixed fraction, combination ito ng whole number and proper fraction. Example, whole number 1 and a proper fraction na 1 half. So, it's 1 and 1 half. Okay, whole number na 2. And a proper fraction na 2 over 3. So, we have 2 and 2 over 3. Whole number 3 and a proper fraction na 3 over 5. So, 3 and 3 over 5. Okay, how about ang 4 and 2 over 2? Is it a mixed fraction? Okay, ang sagot po dito ay hindi. Dahil ang 2 over 2 ay improper fraction. So, 4 and 2 over 2 ay hindi mixed fraction. Okay, punta naman tayo sa concept on how to convert an improper fraction to mixed fraction and vice versa. Okay, example, we have here 15 over 4 at ito ay improper fraction. Mas matas ang numerator sa denominator. So, para makonvert ito to mixed fraction, we will do division. So, ang 15 ang magiging dividend at ang 4 ang magiging divisor. So, 15 divided by 4, 3. 3 times 4, 12. 15 minus 12, 3. So, ang mixed fraction ay okay, 3 and 3 over 4. Okay, this time, a mixed fraction naman, i-convert natin to improper fraction. So, 2 and 3 over 5. 5 times ang 2, this is 10. And then 10, okay, plus 3, it's 13. Ang magiging denominator ay 5. So, we have 13 over 5. Okay, and lastly, ang concept na kailangan nating i-recall at intindihin ay ang concept about equivalent fractions. Okay, paano natin kukunin or malalaman ang equivalent fractions ng isang fraction? Okay, halimbawa ang 2 over 5. I-multiply lang natin ang numerator at denominator by the same number except 0. Okay, ang 2 na numerator, i-multiply natin sa 2. Ganun din sa denominator, i-multiply sa 2. So, it's 4 over 10. Ang 2 over 5 at 4 over 10 ay equivalent fraction. Parehong size, 
or same size. Okay, multiply natin ang 2 at 5 sa 3. 2 times 3, 6. 5 times 3, 15. So, ang 6 over 15, 2 over 5, at 4 over 10 ay mga equivalent fractions. Okay, how about ang fraction na 24 over 36? Ano-ano ang mga equivalent fractions nito? This time, gagamitin natin ang division. So, i-divide natin ang numerator at denominator by the same number. Okay, start natin sa 2. 24 divided by 2, this is 12. 36 divided by 2, 18. So, ang 12 over 18 at 24 over 36 ay mga equivalent fractions. Okay, how about 24 divided by 3? It's 8. Okay, 36 divided by 3, ito ay 12. Okay, ang 8 over 12, 24 over 36, at 12 over 18 ay mga equivalent fractions. Okay, for more information about fraction, panoorin po ang concept part about fraction, episode 4, dito lamang sa Unang Math. This time, we will solve simple problems involving fractions. Okay, simulan natin sa problem na ito. There are three number cards, 2, 7, and 5. Write down all the proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed fractions with a one-digit denominator that can be formed using these number cards. So, according sa problem na ito, kailangan natin isulat lahat ng mga proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed fractions gamit ang mga number cards na 2, 7, at 5. At dapat, ang mga fractions na ito ay may one-digit denominator. Okay, simulan natin sa proper fraction. Okay, ano-ano ang mga proper fractions na pwede natin isulat gamit ang mga number cards na ito? Remember, ang mga proper fractions ay may mas mababang numerator kesa denominator. Okay, since this is a one-digit denominator, isulat muna natin ang 2, 5, at 7 as denominator ng mga fractions. Kung 2 ang denominator ng fraction, okay, 5 or 7 ang magiging numerator. Ang 5 over 2 at 7 over 2 ay hindi proper fraction. So, tanggalin natin ito. Kung 5 ang denominator ng fraction, pwedeng ang numerator ay 2. So, 2 over 5. This is an example of a proper fraction. Okay, how about if ang denominator ay 7? Okay, ang numerator ay 5. So, 5 over 7, ito rin ay proper fraction. Okay, ano pa? 2 ang numerator at ang denominator ay 7. So, 2 over 7, this is also a proper fraction. Fraction. So, meron tayong tatlong proper fractions. Okay, number two, ano-ano naman ang mga improper fractions na pwede nating isulat gamit ang mga number cards na ito. Remember, ang mga improper fractions ay mas mataas ang numerator kesa denominator. Okay, since this is a one-digit denominator, okay, isulat natin ang 2, 5, at 7 muna dito as mga denominators. Okay, kung 2 ang denominator ng fraction na ito, okay, pwede ang 5 na numerator. 5 over 2, this is an improper fraction. Okay, kung 5 ang ating denominator, pwedeng, pwedeng 7 ang ating numerator. 7 over 5, ito rin ay improper fraction. Okay, how about if 7 ang ating denominator? Okay, kung 2 or 5 ang ating numerator, ito ay hindi na improper fraction. Okay, so tanggalin natin ito. Ano pa ang ating improper fraction? Okay, pwede ang 7 na numerator at ang denominator na 2. So, 7 over 2. So, meron din tayong tatlong improper fractions. Okay, how about mixed fractions? Okay, ano-ano ang mga mixed fractions na pwedeng isulat gamit ang mga number cards na ito. Mixed fractions, combination ng whole number and a proper 
fraction. Okay, meron na tayong mga proper fractions dito. Kunin natin ito, 2 over 5. Okay, 5 over 7. At 2 over 7. Okay, isulat lang natin ang 2, 7, or 5 as whole number para meron na tayong mixed fractions. Okay, so this is 2, this is 5. Okay, hindi pa nagamit ang 7. So, 7 and 2 over 5. This is a mixed fraction. 5 over 7. Okay, so ang whole number ay 2. So, 2 and 5 over 7. 2 over 7. Okay, ang whole number ay 5. So, 5 and 2 over 7. So, meron tayong tatlong mixed fractions. Okay, this time, tingnan naman natin ang pangalawang problem. Okay, ang sabi dito is, subtract 2 from the numerator. Add 8 to the denominator and divide by 5. The result is 1 over 4. Okay, determine the original fraction. So, sa problem na ito, ang kailangan nating malaman ay ang original fraction. So, according sa problem na ito, ang first na condition ay, we, we, we need to subtract 2 from the numerator and then we need to add 8 to the denominator and divide by 5. At ang result daw ay 1 fourth. Okay, tignan natin. Kung ang ating original na fraction ay ang fraction na ito, okay, according sa first na condition, subtract 2 from the numerator. So, ito ang ating numerator minus 2. Okay, ang pangalawang condition, add 8 to the denominator, so plus 8, and divide by 5. So, divided by 5. At ang sabi is, the result is 1 fourth. So, this is equal to 1 over 4. Para malaman ang original na fraction, kailangan nating i-transpose ang mga numbers na ito sa side na ito. Okay, papaano? Okay, 1 over 4. Kopyahin muna natin ang 1 over 4 dito. Ang 2 dito at ang sign ay subtraction. Okay, ito ay magiging uh, addition. So, plus 2. Okay, how about ang 5 dito at ang sign ay uh, division. So, ito ay magiging multiplication. So, times 5. Ang 8 at ang sign ay or ang operation ay addition. So, ito ay magiging minus 8. Okay. So, para malaman ang original fraction. So, this is 1 plus 2, 3. 4 times ang 5, 20. Minus 8, 12. So, ang ating original fraction ay 3 over 12. 